Click on subscribe, click on the bell icon to get notifications from India's smartest channel, TRS Clips. <laughs> How have you built out startups which have been so successful? Like what has been, you know, the work that's gone behind it? And by behind it, I mean right from the time you were in college. What has the preparatory period involved? I guess... Uh... I became financially independent when I was 16 and not out of choice. The family went through financial crisis, so had no choice but to jugard my way into it. So I've done <laughs> anything from selling pirated CDs to selling Mandy cones to uh, wow. all sorts of things that I've done to kind of earn the income. I used to run a small cyber cafe. I used to do tuition of computers. I, I've done all sorts of things that made money. And I had no choice but to do that. Good news is that it taught me how to make money very early on in life. And I think that is what I think our education misses completely. Uh, we get to learn to sell something so late. And, and also because we have a lack of dating culture, we are terrible at selling in general. right? So that mm. makes us a country of terrible salesmen. Uh, because 98% mm. of the country is doing arranged marriages. Uh, which makes us terrible at sales. Uh, and I think I learned that doing that extra matters so much in a country where people are just not trying to push for it. Like, I, I appreciated the effort that it took to get the perfect setting for this podcast. And I like people who do that because it's the extra 5% that makes all the difference. And not just like, Acha, mic laga diya, ye kar diya. You, you sent me a microphone, you, you get all the settings done. To me, all the value that I have seen people create is by the shiddat that they have in their work. And I think that's been my thing that I do not like to work with people who do not do this to the last level. I, I like to hang around with people. And I think businesses just happen to be happening around the same time. Uh, but if I have to look at my journey, I have done all sorts of things. I've probably done, I don't know, 15, 20 different types of businesses. I'm known for one or two. But the thing is, it's been a constant journey of iteration. And if I have to point out to one thing that has helped me kind of create some successful businesses is to understand the core concept of human motivation. What do people want and will they pay money for it? Right. And I think most of businesses miss exactly these two points and, and they imagine problems and therefore start solving it. And they imagine the severity of problem that people will pay for money for that problem. Right. And I think that is the core two insights through which I have kind of been very fortunate uh, to constantly build businesses. And I don't know anything else to do in life. So I keep building businesses. Hmm. I want to know why you think you don't know anything else in life because your Twitter says otherwise. But uh, is it, would you, would you reframe that sentence as you get your biggest kick out of business? Like you get your biggest life's high out of business? I think that's a fair point. I, I think my core need is to be curious and to know things. But do I really know it? Can you only be tested by if I made a business out of it? Right? So let's say business is the application of knowledge because knowledge for the sake of knowledge is not as valuable because you have not tested it right uh, and i think in india has too many gyanis otherwise right so the uh, application of gyan is is everything i i, I believe that uh, otherwise knowledge is freely available on youtube as much as we want but most people are so addicted to just listening to gyan and motivational stuff and doing zero things in life and i think that to me is the biggest problem of india i would say summarizing it that uh, Way too much knowledge, way too much gyan, uh, very few people trying to apply and improve that.